still hurts Watching him fade away Here comes something crazy. I didn't expect to make this either, and you probably didn't expect me to make this. So uh, let's make a little recap real quick. Here we go. It's here. Let's go. Hey, 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 you. Yeah, you. You know what you need? You need some Sam Raimi Spider-Man figures. But where do you get them? You know, that asshole spider criminal gets them all the time. He must have a super secret story ghost to get him. Well, you'd be right. Introducing the Sam Raimi Spider-Man store. Located next to Piscaca Lake. Call the number below right now and you can get yourself a Sam Raimi Spider-Man figure absolutely free! Warning, entering the store may cause erectile dysfunction. Please see your doctor before you visit. Now, 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 let's not get ahead of ourselves. What is Multiverse of Madness? It comes out this Thursday, Friday. Release it now. There are bigger things happening here than my video. So obviously, this video doesn't mean shit because the movie comes out this Thursday and Friday. Like I just said, yeah, it comes out Friday. Yeah, yeah, get your fucking tickets now while you can. So basically, this stupid video is just uh, 2.1. Yeah, if you will, I guess, yeah. So guess what, boys? This is the full cut. So what that means is, when this is all over, this is it. This is the last Pizza Scooter video, and I'm going to put it to bed, and it's going to be to rest. Before I get mad, I have more videos in the works. I have a Lego video I'm currently working on, and uh, that should be done, uh, I don't know when, whenever I feel like it. I'm just, I've been busy. Oh well. But anyways, let's get into the video. Alright, well here we have it. Here he is. Um, this is the pizza scooter. Complete. Uh, without the head, I'll show you that in a second. I'm not going to explain how I got the figure because it's a long story and uh, no one would believe me anyway, so... Uh, yeah, anyways. Oh. oh yeah, I'm very lucky. Mm -hmm. Alright, well here's the scooter, it's all here. Uh, I'm about to load the pizzas in and show you how it works, because clearly... Uh, I mean, I'm pretty sure everyone knows how it works, but I'm gonna show it off again. So now I'm going to show it launching. And as you can see, he's got a little kickstand right there, and he also comes with a masthead. I'll get to show the Peter Parker head in one second, but yeah, this is, what, this is the masthead, this is what it comes with. This is what he looks like in bike position when he's not on the bike. <laughs> so there you go. Now before I get onto the figure, I want to establish something. This little lid thing, uh, it always gets a lost. So a lot of these pizza scooters over time have lost their lid for some reason, which honestly, yeah, it 
kind of pops off really easily, so I could see how it gets lost, but it's a big piece. It's like a back of, like, a TV remote. I'm surprised people lose this. But anyways, yeah, it just, it plugs in just like that, and, uh, yeah, that's the lid. We're covering over the minor details. It's nicely painted. The handlebars are correct. The wheels work pretty well. And uh, there's a kickstand for if you want it to just stand on its own. Now on for the Peter Parker figure right here. Here's the Peter Parker head that I have on it currently. And mine is pretty messed up, but hey, it's uh, it's been loved over the years, I can see. But yeah, the paint detail is decent. Um, for some reason, he looks like his video game model in the game. <laughs> I noticed that. Uh, my friend Shrimp also told me that, he said he looks a lot like the video game model, which I agree with, so, let's change the heads. It's a little tough sometimes. You gotta be really careful with this joint, because it's very thin and it's old, so you just gotta be very careful with it. But here's the red peg, and here's the head. Which goes right on. Just like that. And there he is with his mask. And I will look over him once more. I can't remember if I went over articulation, but I'll go over it again. So here's the head movement right here. It goes all the way around. Uh, it's a hinge. And then you got like an upper butterfly joint kind of thing. And then shoulder and the bicep, the elbow, the wrist hand, fingers, he's got flip fingers, uh, ab, waist, which mine's very tight, um, leg, thigh cut, uh, knee, calf, ankle, toe, that's how it should be, always have the toe joint, um, but yeah, that's the articulation, I think I went over it last time, but there it is again. As we turn this guy around, we're going to compare logos to another Spider-Man figure. Uh, so here's the Pizza Scooters logo. I think it might be the best looking one that we've got. Uh, compared to the Superposable here, it's a little squished. And uh, I don't like it very much. I like the I like the Pizza Scooter one. Um, I didn't bring it out, but the Magnetic and Web Trap, that's a pretty good one too. But yeah, I don't like the back of that one. Alright, so final thoughts on the figure. I gotta say, to me, it's one of, honestly, probably my favorite Spider-Man. I think I said that last time. I kind of went over some of the stuff that I thought about the figure last video, but I'll say it again. It is probably my favorite figure I own. I'm very happy to have it complete now, and it's forever probably going to be in my collection. Especially the fact that it looks like the game model. I think that's hilarious. I think it, I, I really want to know the history behind it, because... It's just so interesting to me how close it looks to the game, and I really do want to know more about it. It's really cool. I, I love this figure. Also, I had my friend Angel, uh, I had him put the glasses on the Peter head to see how it looked, because, you know, he wears glasses mostly in the game, when you see him unmasked, usually, until the end, and it looks pretty, it looks pretty close. I actually think it looks pretty funny. Um, I think in the near future I'd want to make a Peter Parker based on the game using the head since people make the heads and recast them, whatever. But yeah, you can buy the heads on eBay. I've seen people sell them and it's not bad. Mine's not the best. I showed it in the last one. It's not the best, but it's a decent head, I'd say. I mean, if you want it because of that reason, then it's pretty good. It doesn't fully look like Toby, but I, I personally think it looks like Toby and I, I like the head. But yeah. That's kind of my final thoughts. Um, I don't know what you guys think of the figure, because it's definitely one of my favorites. It's very sought after, and it's just one of my favorites. Also, and if a motherfucker says uh, the back spider of the area flipping and the pizza scooter are the exact same, they're fucking wrong. Make it
announcement. Tis a fire for YouTube is a bitch ass motherfucker. He pissed on my fucking figure. That's right. He took his fucking twink little dick out and he pissed on my fucking figure and he said his dick was this big. And I said that's disgusting. So I'm making a call up post on my Twitter.com. Tis a fire from YouTube. You got a small dick. It's the size of this walnut except way smaller. And guess what? Here's what my dong looks like. That's right, baby. All paint, all accessories. Look at that, it looks like two balls in a bong. He fucked my figure, so guess what? I'm gonna fuck his channel. That's right, this is what you get. My super pizza piss. Except I'm not just gonna piss on his channel. I'm gonna go higher. I'm gonna piss on YouTube. How do you like that, Obama? I pissed on YouTube, you idiot! You have 23 hours before the piss drop lids hit the fucking earth. Now get out of my fucking sight before I piss on YouTube. Ten, ten. 